Paul, I think it's fair to say that's a deserved three points. Um, oh, is it deserved? Um, you know, something I don't actually care. Um, I'll be honest with you. It was three points. I said to the players, just find a way to win today. Um, I thought they had some really good opportunities. I thought they played some good football. Um, thankfully, on the day, um, Andy Cook didn't have his shooting boots on or his shooting head on one situation as well, which they, had, they created some good chances. I was really pleased with the way we played, particularly the first half. I thought we, we probably created more chances than we have done in any game this season. Um, just weren't clinical enough. We didn't go and finish those chances off. And then even second half, uh, I thought we had a really good chance when um, when we just changed the shape and, and put Mellish around Smallwood. We, he, made, he went on a run and Gibbo put it over. And then we had another one where... I think if John Mellish should have left it, it'd have probably gone in, but he headed it over the bar. So we did have chances as well. Um, I just thought it was two decent football sides, and thankfully we came out with the three points. I think that you've probably highlighted what my, my point was there, because we have created chances. They've had a couple with Cookie, but by and large we've kept them at bay, and we, we've done the, the same at the other end. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I can't remember Thomas having to make a save. Um, now whether that's Good defending or, or bad finishing from them is irrelevant really, but I don't think he had to make a save. So it was a game where I felt we had more control than we have done of late. Um, it's just a big win. You know, when you've got a team who are level on points with you, albeit with a, a game in hand, you have to beat them. Um, and it was quite interesting. Um, our uh, local radio decided to uh, make a point of how we can't beat anybody at the top the other day. So uh, at least we've put that little... Uh, little thing to bed anyway so we, we move on big three points for us and we make sure we're ready for the next one on the 29th going into that half time break you must have been really comfortable with what you'd seen because we pretty much controlled that 45 minutes yeah I was really happy uh, whether, I'm not sure I was comfortable because I knew we needed to get a second goal or felt as though we needed to get a second goal um, thankfully it, it, we didn't concede because of the way we went about it the way we defended um, and also Again, I'll say it because of the little bit of slack finishing from them. Um, we, we, uh, there was probably moments in the game where we allowed them a little bit too much control of possession, um, but I, I was comfortable because it was it was deep in their own half and they weren't really affecting us. Um, but there's always that threat when they've got players like they have. You know, you bring in bring in Oliver on as a striker. You've got you know Banks, who I think's done really well for them coming off off the bench and. Um, the two wide plays, Issa and Wright, were a threat. Um, but I, I just thought we, we coped much better today. I still think we got a little bit nervous. and I, I think the crowd got a little bit nervous as well, but maybe that's just a consequence of, of what's gone in the previous game. So thankfully we've got our souls over the line and um, all I know is the players are absolutely delighted over there. The goal, a corner, it just shows you, doesn't it? An effective delivery, a bit of presence and wanting to get on the ball. There it goes. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, the fact that these fellas practice it as well, um, they, they, you know, they, it's not, it, it doesn't just happen. These these lads practice the delivery and we practice the runs um, and it was a great header from Hunts, peeled off around the far post and a good delivery from Taylor. thought there was a few other chances as well from set plays that we could have been a bit more effective. Um, but that's me being picky and let's save them for another day. That find a way thing, that was the second half because they did have a spell where Cookie had those two chances, mm. but we saw it through and we've got a clean sheet. Yeah, no, no, they, they're, they're always going to create chances because they've got good players. You know, let's not, let's not take it away from them. They're a good side. They, they will be up there this season. And, and I, I said it the other day, if we finish one place above Bradford City this season, I think we'll have had a good season um, because they're a good squad. Um, and I thought today, for long periods, we, we showed the strength of our squad. You know, I made a few changes today with Jordan coming back into it. Um, I didn't realise how much Bradford City fans uh, disliked Jordan, but I thought he kept his composure. I thought he did really well today and um, got into some good areas, produced some stuff. Um, I brought Jack Stretton into it just to give us some energy up front. So I was pleased with that, and um, and Mellish coming back into it just gives us something different as well. So it shows the the quality of the squad, um, and it's our job to try and keep improving it and make sure we keep moving forward. I mean, those changes when the team news comes out, people are going, "Oh, look what's happened." This is where you you have trust in everybody. You trust them all to come in and do the job. Oh, without a doubt, we do. Yeah, we do trust them. Um, 
some of them have had more opportunities than others, I accept that, but that's just a decision that I have to make. Um, I thought the lads who came in today d did a real good job. Mellish, as I said, gives you gives you that balance and that, uh, what's the word, unpredictability, playing left side centre-back. I thought Jack Stretton gave us the legs up front, maybe doesn't have the, the nous that Christian Dennis has because of his experience, but I thought he, uh, he worked really, really well. Maybe on another day he might have got a, a little bit more than those half chances that he got and he might have finished something off. But I'm pleased with pleased with the whole group today. I think it's a really important, a really big win um, and it sets us up for the next one. And doing the job from the dugout, that formation change for the second half, that shut them down a little bit after they had that little bit of, of a head of steam. Yeah, I just felt as though we were... Um, we lost. I, I felt it first half a little bit, to be honest. But I was quite comfortable with where they were having the possession when Smallwood was dropping in deep. Second half, I thought they, they were getting possession a little bit higher, so I wanted to put Mellish out there. I thought um, Paul Huntington and, and Morgan could deal with Cook okay, and it just gave us gave us a little bit of a foothold back in the game. And, and I, to be fair, I think if when Mellish went on that run, as soon as he, uh, as soon as I changed it, if we'd have scored from that, I think I'd have just walked down the tunnel because it would have been, it would have been perfect. But unfortunately, we didn't finish it. You've mentioned his name a few times. Now it's not all about John Mellish or any other player on the day, but he had something different, doesn't he? He brings something different, and you see it when he's not there. Oh no, you do miss him because he's a good player, and I think any side, if you, if you've got. A player who gives you the balance, um, and this isn't in any way disrespectful to Corey Whelan, who's done a good job, but ha I like to have left-footed players out on that left-hand side, whether it be the left centre-back, the left wing-back, the left winger, whatever. I like left-footed players in the side because they do give you a bit of balance, and Mel's does that. Um, you know, I, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't think he knows what he's going to do, but he's he's good at it. He's effective, and he causes problems, and he gets and he's prepared to run past people. He was cramping up at the end there, but he just carried on, um, and that's the sort of personality he is, and that's what we need in the group. And you mentioned this the other day when we asked that ridiculous question about phone calls coming in to take players the other way. Performances like that from the likes of him and Mox and all the others that does keep people scouts looking at us. I hope not. No, I don't want them to. No, there's um, you know the good thing is under contract, um, and and you know we we we've got him tied down, so we don't have to let him go. We don't want to let him go. I have no indications from him that he wants to go. So we keep them together. I, I, I've come into here and I'm I'm realistic. I'm I'm not being stupid. But if we get made financial offers for players to that makes the club stronger and keeps us going we have to consider it what I also want to do is make sure we keep building to take the club forward and um, if players leave I hope it's my decision that they're going to leave uh, whether that be as a transfer whether that be as going out of contract and I want to change it because um, there will be those decisions that have to be made um, but they'll be made with what I believe is the, the best interests of the club in mind um, I certainly don't want to be losing our starters in January, so fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Exactly that, because it's my next question. When you're fourth in the table, you want to keep the group together. Let's done that as much as possible and add to it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do want to add to it. Um, that's something that we're, we're trying to do. Um, I'm hoping we've not picked up anything bad today. We've got a couple of bumps and bruises and, and a few things gone on, so we'll just get them freshened up and check how everybody is and, and hopefully be able to select from the same group on uh, on Thursday is it the next game I've lost track of days but um, hopefully we can select from the same group and they can get the same level of performance any further news on Edmo no we're still waiting for him to go and see the orthopedic surgeon um, we're waiting for the, the guy who, who I'm told is the top guy for shoulders um, he's, for some reason he's very busy at the moment um, and obviously it's Christmas so we're hopeful that he's going to get an appointment this week um, the the scan has shown up that he, he did have a, a dislocation of the shoulder um, and there is some damage there but we're just going to wait and see to, to find out from the surgeon what, what the course of action is. Both in the table on Boxing Day, not too bad. Oh, no, it's nice isn't it, yeah, I mean we're 22 games in, 24 to go, um, we'll be judged after 46 as I keep saying, um, I'm certainly happy, uh, I had a wonderful Christmas day at home. 
really good Boxing Day in terms of a result, and I'm looking forward to the 29th. Knocking somewhere about 7,000 Carlisle fans today in that crowd, they, they were decent for us, and it's good to give them a Christmas present when they come on a day like this. Oh, without a doubt, and, and I'm also going to give credit to the Bradford City fans as well for turning up in their numbers, absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm glad our fans stayed to the end, I'm glad our fans have had the, the things to cheer about, uh, but that is brilliant that we can get that number in. What we have to do is make sure that we do the next two away games properly that, so that the next time we play on the 14th, um, we're getting a good crowd turning up again. That's one from me, Paul. It's, it, it is coming up very quickly, the next game. Do you give yourself a bit of time off tonight or is it straight on it for crew? Um, well, I've left, you, uh, I've left the office there and asking um, Jacob Blaine to put crew onto it for me. So I'll, get, I'll review this one, well, maybe not tonight, but first thing in the morning I'll review this one when the dust settles. And, but then... By lunchtime, it has to be back onto the next one and crew. Um, and that's the way I've always done it, so I'll do that again tomorrow. Um, it's always easier to do it when you've got three points in the bag, and, and especially the way we played first half, there was a lot of good things, so ready to go again.